On this most important occasion, we would be remiss not to acknowledge the racist hate crime that has shaken our community and the pain and outrage it has engendered. engendered. Make no mistake, this despicable, cowardly act directed at African-American women, specifically members of Alpha Kappa Alpha Incorporated, including Taylor Dumpson, our first African-American female student government president. We will not stand for it. Any attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. This was not the first racist act we experienced this year. We are not immune to the hatred that has given rise to such acts on campuses across the nation and in communities. But this crime was an assault on the values of our community. As president, it is my responsibility to foster an environment where every student feels safe and is able to learn and thrive. I regret that my efforts to create such a climate were not sufficient to prevent this and other acts. So, I open this commencement with a statement of renewed commitment. First, the leaders of this university and I will continue working with the United States Attorney, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and the Metropolitan Police Department. And we will not rest until we identify those responsible and bring them to justice. Second, we will work tirelessly to live up to our mission and values. We will seek ways to more effectively address these challenges, holding a mirror to ourselves, rooting out sources of systemic racism and other forms of hate and bigotry. Looking beyond the way we've operated in the past with an intense focus on action. In the past weeks, in public town halls and face-to-face -face meetings, we have begun to develop Together, a list of ideas and recommendations that represent concrete steps to effect change. I know President-designate Burwell joins me in this commitment. As I look upon the faces in this room, I see passion, I see resolve, I see leaders. We have an opportunity to create meaningful change on one of the most important issues facing American University, facing our nation, facing the world. We must and we will rise to this challenge.